Hello again, this is VSOP coming back at you with another whiskey review. Now this is a bottle that I didn't even know I had on my shelf. It's a small bottle, so it was sitting behind all these other bottles and I didn't even know it was there. And I'm looking through my bottles the other day and I'm like, what is that? So I pulled it out and this is what I'm talking about. Knob Creek Cask Strength Rye Whiskey. Yes, indeed, another cask strength. I thought I was done with them, but I got one more left. All right. Now, this is uh, barreled in 2009. I think it's a limited release from 2018. So I bought this five years ago. So, you know, it's been sitting there for a while. Anyway, I believe this comes from Jim Beam. I think you got Fred No down there. And uh, so you know it's a quality product. So let's pop the top and see what's what, all right? That top is on there. Oh, there we go. All right, bring on over my El Dorado rum glass. There it is. All right, let's pour a little bit in. Glug, glug, glug. That looks good. All right. Now, let's swirl. Swirl and swirl. Let's see if I can do it right. There we go. <laughs> swirl and swirl, because that's what you do. All right, now let's sniff it. Mmm. That's nice. Full bodied aroma. Mmm. Mmm, that's really nice. Second, second uh, sniff is always better. Now, 119.6 proof. So it's not singing my nose hairs, but it's, uh, it's doing a little bit up there, all right? Mmm, that's nice. Now let's taste. Mmm. That is both spicy and a little bit sweet, which is nice. All right, and I'm picking up a little bit of banana. Let me see if I'm right. That's what I'm picking up. You might think I'm nuts for picking that up, but that's just my taste buds, all right? That's the way it is. Anyway, that's really, really good. I like that. Now, as I said, this comes to us from Jim Beam, from Knob Creek. Now... I've had other Knob Creek products, you know. I've had the 120 single barrel, which is really, really good. The uh, standard nine-year-old, very good. The standard rye, also very good. And I've also had the 12-year-old. Um, I had a couple of bottles of those a while back when my liquor store had them. And even though they were up there around 70, 80 bucks, they are really, really good. And you can still get it, but it's expensive. Uh, if you don't mind dropping that kind of money, the 12-year-old is very, very nice. And I've also had the smoked maple. And I really like the smoked maple. I don't care what anybody says. You purists out there, if you think you shouldn't be drinking it, I don't give a shit. Let me tell you, you drink whatever you want to drink, all right? If it's right up here, if it's right in here, that's all that matters. Don't listen to what anybody else says. It don't matter, all right? Now... If you see this on your shelf and you think you might want to get one, I say go for it because it's really, really good. Strong but good. All right.